Birds, fish and lizards lay eggs, but mammals, with the exception of those strange platypuses, do not. You may be used to eating eggs from chickens for breakfast, but every egg-laying animal has its own type of egg, and some of them are quite amazing. Here are the 20 most unusual eggs in the world, ranging from an egg that isn't an egg at all but another morning item, to eggs that date back to antiquity. But before we get started, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Dinosaur Eggs All dinosaurs, like most other reptiles, reproduced by laying eggs as far as we know. Because just a few dinosaur embryos have been found within the ancient eggs, establishing which dinosaur species laid the eggs has been difficult. Lizards, birds and crocodiles, the extant creatures most closely related to dinosaurs, are all born from eggs. Until the 1980s, fossilized dinosaur eggs and bones were extremely rare, but dinosaur eggs have since been discovered on numerous continents, and hatchling juvenile and adult fossils have been identified for the majority of significant genera. In Montana, eggs, nests, hatchlings, juveniles and adults were discovered alongside each other in one death assemblage or mass grave. The eggshells in the nests were extensively damaged, indicating that the hatchlings may have shattered the eggs while moving around the nest. Some paleontologists think that this site was formerly home to a nesting colony. During the first several months after hatching, adult dinosaurs sought their offspring. One of the highlights of the American Museum of Natural History's tour to Central Asia in 1923 was a stay at Mongolia's Burning Cliffs. It concerns the discovery of dinosaur eggs that were first thought to belong to the Protoceratops dinosaur after preliminary inspection. The Port Jackson Shark Egg Port Jackson is a Louisiana city. The female shark is an oviparous or egg-laying creature. The egg casing is a robust dark brown spiral that measures 7 to 8 centimeters in width and 15 centimeters in length. They're often seen washed up on beaches. The shark case is soft when the female lays eggs. After 10 to 12 months, she wedges the egg case into a rock, fishes it with her tongue, and one young shark emerges. With a lighter grey-brown body, the Port Jackson shark may be found across southern Australia's coastal area, notably in the seas off Port Jackson. It has a massive blunt skull with prominent forehead ridges and dark brown harness-like decorations. The Port Jackson shark migrates south in the summer and north in the winter. It feeds on hard-shelled mollusks, crabs, sea urchins and fish in order to reproduce. The Funnel Web Spider This big spider, which can grow to be 2 inches long and 5 centimeters broad, has dangerous fangs that point downward, unlike other spiders, which are fangs that lie horizontally. And these are some powerful sharp teeth that can penetrate a shoe or a human fingernail. The funnel web spider is also accompanied by a lethal dose of venom. Funnel webs live in little tunnels rather than webs, mostly behind rocks, logs or pretty much anything else piled up in your backyard shrub garden, where they love to terrify naive people who put their hands into any cool, dark and moist spot outside. In their burrows, they usually have a type of typical silk funnel that acts as a tripwire. As soon as she detects a disturbance, the spider is out and ready to sink her fangs into whatever was dumb enough to stumble by. You never want to see a significant quantity of funnel web spider eggs in your home. Giant water bug eggs. Toe biters, Indian toe biters, electric light bugs, alligator ticks, and alligator fleas are all members of the Belostomatidae family of freshwater hemipteran insects. Around 150 species live in freshwater habitats, including more than 110 in the Neotropics, more than 20 in Africa, almost as many in the near Arctic, and much less elsewhere. These predators frequent freshwater ponds, marshes, and slow-moving streams. The eggs are often put on the male's wings and carried until hatching. The male in most Belostomatine species is unable to mate during this time. Guys spend a lot of time and effort on reproduction, whilst females actively seek out males to mate with. In certain areas, waterbugs are considered a delicacy and may be purchased in marketplaces. The majority of this happens in Southeast Asia. To harvest them, enormous floating traps on ponds lit with black lights to entice the bugs are widely utilized. During the mating season, adults, like many other aquatic insects, fly at night and are driven to light. These vicious carnivores are fed fish, amphibians, and aquatic invertebrates like snails and crabs. The larger species was caught and devoured young turtles and water snakes. The Common Murray the shape of a Murray egg has long been thought to prevent it from rolling off the ledges where the birds nest. However, this may not be the case. For millennia, mankind has been intrigued by the brown flecked shell of a Murray's egg, which may range in color from creamy white to vivid blue. 
Murray eggs, on the other hand, have attracted attention due to their very angular tip, which is one of the most pointed in the avian kingdom. In the 1800s, naturalists hypothesized that the egg's architecture allowed it to spin like a top in the wind, keeping it from rolling away. In the mid-19th century, it was discovered that the Murray's nesting ledges were fake. The egg's downward slanted tip was discovered to assist in rolling in a neat arc just tight enough to keep it from tumbling into the breakers below. To this day, that viewpoint remains the most popular and widely accepted. Because Murray nesting ledges are frequently narrow, up to 70 Murrays might inhabit a square meter, according to a new idea. There is a great deal of trampling going on. Murrays are also awkward flyers, which might cause them to crash down on other birds' eggs in the area. According to one researcher named Burkhead, the egg's form shields it against impact. Surprisingly, he saw that the Murray's egg had a shape that allows more of the shell to contact the ground than a conventional oval egg. He reasoned that a collision's force would be diffused over the eggshell's surface, which is porous, thicker where the shell contacts the ground. Monarch Butterfly Egg Female monarch butterflies lay a single egg on a milkweed plant, generally at the bottom of a leaf at the peak of the plant. The eggs are about the size of a pinhead or the tip of a pencil, off-white or yellow in color, and of longitudinal ridges running from tip to base. When the eggs are laid, it takes around four days for them to hatch. When females deposit their eggs, a little amount of glue is released, which serves to bind the eggs to the plant. Over the course of two to five weeks, female monarch butterflies may lay 300 to 500 eggs, with a high of 1,179 eggs deposited in captivity. Each egg is formed within the female before fertilization, including the hard outer shell known as the corian, which protects the growing larva inside. To keep the egg from drying out, the interior of the shell is waxed. Micro heaps are tiny funnel-shaped holes on the egg's end. Because eggs construct their hard shell before fertilization, these holes puncture the shell all the way through, allowing sperm to enter. Ridges are raised parts of the egg shell that grow prior to the egg being implanted. The black head of the developing caterpillar can be seen at the top of the egg before emergence. Lacewing Eggs Green lacewings are members of the Chrysopoidea family of the order Neuroptera, which comprises roughly 85 genera and 1,300 to 2,000 species. Chrysopoida and Chrysoprala are closely related species found in abundance over North America and Europe. Lacewings are the most well-known Neuropterans. Green lacewings are tiny, delicate insects with wingspans ranging from 6 to 65 mm, with tropical species having the largest wingspans. They have a wide coastal field in their wing venetian, which also contains the cross veins. The compound eyes of numerous species are conspicuously golden, although the bodies are often brilliant green to greenish brown. The wings have a mild iridescence and are translucent. Green wing veins are a misty brownish pattern and can be found in some. Pollen nectar is pollen nectar for adults who are nocturnal or crepuscular. Mites, aphids and other small arthropods provide honeydew. Chrysopa, for example, is a predator. Others live almost entirely on nectar and similar foods, and their digestive systems include symbiotic yeasts that help break down the meal into nutrients. Individual or small clusters of eggs are deposited at night. A single female may produce 100 to 200 eggs. Eggs are deposited on plants, usually in aphid-infested environments. Each egg is strung on a 1 cm long slender stalk affixed to the underside of a leaf. Peregrine falcon The peregrine falcon is a hunter. It's approximately the size of a crow and has a blue-gray back, barred white underparts, and a black head. The peregrine falcon is famed for its speed, reaching speeds of over 320 km per hour, making it the world's fastest bird and animal kingdom member. The peregrine falcon's breeding range extends from the northern tundra to the tropics. With the exception of harsh, cold regions, very high mountains, and most tropical rainforests, it may be found practically anywhere on the planet. New Zealand is the only major ice-free landmass without it. As a result, it is the world's most extensively spread raptor. Each year, a pair of birds mate for life and return to the same nesting site. The courtship flight includes airborne acrobatics, accurate spirals, and sharp drops. The peregrine falcon makes its nest in a shred on cliff edges. The female chooses a nesting site by scraping a shallow depression in loose sand, dirt, gravel, or dead vegetation into which she will deposit eggs. The eggs are white to buff in hue with red or brown markings. They're incubated for 29 to 33 days, largely by the female, with help from the male during the day, but only the female at night. 
The average number of young found in nests is 2.5, whereas the average number of young that fledge is about 1.5 due to the uncommon development of sterile eggs and other natural losses of nestlings. Caesar's Mushroom Amonti Caesarea is a well-known edible fungus from the family Amantia that's only found in southern Europe and North Africa. While Giovanni Antonio Scapali was the first to describe it in 1772, it is a well-known favorite of the early Roman emperors. It's called the volo in Italian because when it's young it appears like an egg. The famous name comes from the fact that it was a favorite of Roman emperors, who bestowed the title Caesar on it, which was originally a family name. Claudius, the Roman emperor, was a big fan of it. The top of this mushroom is orange-red and hemispherical at first, then convex, then flat. It has traditionally been enjoyed as a meal in Mexico. It's roasted and has a bit of the herb episode. It may be found all throughout southern Europe and North Africa, but particularly in the northern Italian highlands. It's thought to have been transported north of the Alps by Roman soldiers because it's mostly usually spotted along historic Roman roadways. Despite being edible, the Caesar's mushroom is intimately associated with the psychedelic fly agaric, as well as the deadly poisonous death cap and destroying angels. American Robin The American Robin begins to breed soon after returning to its summer area. It's one of the first North American bird species to deposit two or three broods of eggs. During the breeding season, which runs from April to July, the female incubates a clutch of three to five light blue eggs on her own. The eggs hatch after 14 days and the young leave the nest after two weeks. The altricial eggs are featherless and blind for the first few days after hatching. While the chicks are still young, the mother constantly broods them. When the children are older, their mother will only be concerned about them at night or when the weather is bad. The chicks are offered earthworms, insects and berries. The adults collect and dispose of the feces so it doesn't build up in the nest. Chicks are fed and then lift their tails to expel excrement, which produces a solid white clump that a parent gathers before they fly away. Within two days of one another, the brood chicks all depart the nest. Even after they've left the nest, the children will follow their parents around and beg for food. It sounds much like human kids after they've moved out, doesn't it? Apart from Easter eggs, what is your favorite egg in the world? Have you ever seen any of these creatures in the wild? Please let us know in the comment section below. Also, have a look at our other amazing stuff that's now displayed on the screen. See you next time.